Hello everyone, this is Bowser Galaxy 10! <laughs> hey! We're doing Sonic again! Except that we're doing a good Sonic game, at least to me! <laughs> this is my favorite Sonic game! So I just want to say, I think that uh, intro scene actually holds up pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> for, for anyone wondering, this is Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut, the, what, the second game to be re the second main Sonic game to be really released on the GameCube after Sonic Adventure 2 was. And this is a re this is technically a remake of the of the 1998-ish game from from the Sega Dreamcast. <laughs> yeah, th yeah, it's and and do you want to know the best part? Most people say the textures in the Dreamcast game are actually better than this one. <laughs> like this game really holds up in quality, I'd say. Well, as much as a Sonic game can. Yeah. So anyway, well, so anyway, you guys might be wondering. I thought you already did this game. We did, but it was on 3DS in 2015. <laughs> so once again, Jack. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is, I wanted an excuse to play this one again. <laughs> and unlike, and unlike Claire, I'll be handling all. Unlike when I did this with Claire, I'll be doing all six stories. Instead of having Claire die, die on, on the easiest parts of Tails. <laughs> Let's get him. Also, I know a lot more about this game than just me playing it for years and years and years. <laughs> <laughs> that usually helps with game knowledge. But yeah, this is my favorite of the Sonic games. Like, very much so. And I'm interested to see Joel's opinion after seeing a full playthrough of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm interested to see it too, because I heard wildly varying opinions on this game. <laughs> so, Sonic, what time period was this game made in again? Oh, yeah. this is okay, 90s, got it. <laughs> So yeah, this is also the first time the Sonic cast had voice actors. In fact, in Japan, most of the pe people in this game were actually the current voice- are actually still the current voice actors in Japan. <laughs> in fact, dur in fact, during the intros of all these, I'm actually going to be splicing in the Japanese commercials for this game with some, like, <laughs> background on the actors, on what else they did. Because honestly, it's a lot more interesting to, to talk about the Japanese actors than the English actors. Because most of the English actors are just Sonic. <laughs> We're just Sonic and not much else. Meanwhile, meanwhile in Japan, Japanese Robotnik w w w was, free was freaking Xehanort until his death in 2015, which makes me think that every original Xehanort is cursed to die before King of Hearts 3 comes out. <laughs> oh, yeah. this could be fun. Anyway. Anyway, our f anyway, this game starts with our first boss fight. Chaos Zero. Anyway, the new features from this game was a homing attack and, of course, 3D, of course. Anyway, Chaos is pretty dang easy. The only reason you don't spend only five, like, ten seconds on him is because he does this stuff. Just homing attack him three times and he's done. You killed him! He's dead. We've defeated the main villain antagonist of the game. We sure we did. Won. We saved the world. Yeah. Go us. That was easy. Oh, damn it, he's alive. Come on, you big drip. Where you going? <laughs> the acting in this game is cheesy, and I love every second of it. <laughs> Just warning you, Joel. The acting in this game is the most cheesy thing. <laughs> and a lot of memes of Sonic were born from this game. 
Yeah. For example, pretty much everything said by this guy. You know nothing, fool. It's Chaos, the god of destruction. <laughs> I think that was too many ha's on the subtitles, but whatever. <sighs> yeah, most of this game still age as well. The facial animations are not it, as we will see from this cutscene with Sonic. Yeah, I have Joel with me this time. A, to show him the game. B, to have him laugh at the cheesiness. <laughs> hey, we're humans! Hello. I like identical twins with identical swimsuits. Hey, babes, how's it going? Hey, your swimsuits match my color. You know what that means. One of us has to change. <laughs> Why well, go turn black. <laughs> and then become edgy. <laughs> anyway, you could talk to people, but I don't because most of them are not really worth talking to. Anyway, the first stage. And hilariously, the most glitchy of all of them. <laughs> huh. Boing. But yeah, but, but yeah, this is, this is still one of my favorite Sonic games, and it's the first one they did it with 3D. <laughs> in back in 98! What the hell are the other's excuses? Anyway, wait, no, this ain't it yet. The most glitchy part of the whole game! And I pass through it. <laughs> Loop. Yeah, that, yeah, that, the, the hill going towards that loop has, has an issue in mo, in most, in most playthroughs where it will, like, direct you towards the wall. Then again, this place is also very glitchy. Again, this is the most glitchy you'll be seeing this game, really, <laughs> is this level. For some reason, this level is the most glitchy of all of them. <laughs> Like, I have seen more glitches here than anywhere else in the game. Well, anyway, Joel, first impressions on seeing this? I'm pretty sure I've at least seen parts of this level before. So it's kind of, it's, it's, it's weirdly, like, nostalgic in a way, because I feel like I've seen most of this before at some point. <laughs> Well, yeah, and Sonic Adventure is actually a very much fan favorite of the series. Mm -hmm. Like, like if it's not the classic games, it's most likely one of the adventure games that fans are looking to. Okay. Not sure what happened there. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, Sonic failed at the homing attack and <laughs> got hit. Because that's what oh, happens man. when you fail your attack. Well, maybe how many attacks you have against the mm. frames or something. Mm. I, don't know. I could go in that cave, but uh, eh. Well, there's a bit ability for touch. Anyway, I skipped. I, I just skipped a bit of the level, by the way. Not too much though. It's only like a ten second skip. Haha, <laughs> my new sequence break. Anyway, we're almost done with the first level. Yes. <laughs> the suit tails on the ground, I'm like, oh yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, <laughs> we saved him! Sonic, you gonna help me? Sonic? Um, stop posing? <laughs> 
Right? And like, ha ha! It's like, oh, there's Tails! Now we can help him out! But first, selfie! <laughs> Darn you, Sayer of the Line! <laughs> what? What happened anyway? You're too good of a pilot to just crash like that. As we all know, if you're a good pilot, you will never crash. No matter what. <laughs> Great work, Sonic. Why not just use uh, my plane, the tornado? I mean... This game is so yeah, nostalgic for me. Oh my god. I miss this actor for Tails. <laughs> because he sounds like a kid. He doesn't sound like a teenager. Teenage girl. Why are these actors so much better than the other ones? Anyway, whenever you actually, whenever you mm, talk to one of the characters in the stories, you are actually, you actually unlock them for, from, from the character select. So if you want to, you could completely just say, screw Sonic, I'm gonna go play Tails instead. You could technically leave Sonic for last, I believe, actually. <laughs> if you do it right. Hmm. Well, except for the first time. <laughs> This is the first level, and then you never touch it again until all the other stories are completed. Yeah, I don't know why you'd want to, though. Because you hate Sonic, and you don't want to play as it, you want to pull off playing as it for as long as possible. I don't know. Yeah, I guess, I suppose. <sighs> that character. <laughs> Hello. I am someone that Damien thinks is... Not that... Not horrible. that dude. I didn't mean... Never mind, that. I'm just a random person. Hey, we are second hub world of the game. There's... Oh, there's the music. That's kind of weird. <laughs> if it isn't Sonic! <laughs> And the last English game where he was called Robotnik, because they because they made it that they made they tried to get the Eggman name from Japan into into America by making it like like a derogatory nickname for Eggman, but that. For Robotnik, but then Eggman, just, but Robotnik just kind of goes with it afterward. <laughs> the funniest part is that he kind of just goes with, like it's supposed to be derogatory in this game, but then the next game he's going, "I am the Eggman. That's what I am." <laughs> so it, so it actually makes the next game a lot funnier if you go it like that. Also, I'll take them by force the hard way. How do you take them by force the easy way? <laughs> Maybe he's just saying that taking it by force is the hard way. I don't know. <laughs> so who's ready for me to cheese this fight? <laughs> wow. Well. Anyway, Jeez dodge a few or... missiles. Jeez so what you're supposed to do is what? dodge missiles and then hit him once. What you can do, though. And I screwed up. Never mind! Jeez, failure. Yeah, I'll probably get the last two, though. What you're supposed to do is hit, it, is hit him three times and then the fight's over. If you, if you mash the, the homing attack, you can actually kill him in one, in one cycle. So I did half of it, at least. I did half right. Also, if you jump into him without any rings, Sonic will die in this cutscene and you'll skip this. And you'll skip the totals. But the cutscene will go either way. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> speedrun. <laughs> Can you tell yeah, that I've played this game way too many damn times? <laughs> what the hell are you doing in there? Well, that wasn't so hard. 
hard. Tails, why are you holding that out like that? Oh, that's why. Cause we hit, we could. How do we get Eggman to get take the emerald? Do it. Just have it from Tails. Also, Sonic Adventure was the first game of the Monster of the Week scenario for Sonic, where it was like, Eggman's created a monster that will definitely not betray him when they get ultimate power. Why would you think that? <laughs> you know, if you ask me, Tails is kind of irresponsible for, like, it's like, oh, I found this, like, really ridiculously powerful rare relic. I'm just gonna carry it around with me and use it to power my airplane. <laughs> yeah, they didn't really think about that that much, did it, they? It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like Knuckles using the Master Emerald to get to fuel his car or something. <laughs> Then again, in later games, it, it's, ju it's just King Two Knuckles completely forgot about the thing he's supposed to be guarding with his life. <laughs> Sonic, where's your eyeball? <laughs> there they are. <laughs> anyway, a guy dang it moment of the game. You go to Tails' workshop and you find a stone that you're supposed to take somewhere. <laughs> you find it eventually if you keep walking around, I guess, but this is required for the next to open the next level. <laughs> uh, Which is weird because yeah. we get we have a different stone used later in the game and you get a cutscene for that one. Telling you where it is. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Anyway. Sonic's supposed to go all the way up, but because I jumped in early, he doesn't. So anyway, you have Tails following you for all the good that does. You'll never see him because you'll outspeed him. If I was playing, I would be like, you overestimate my power. <laughs> Because as everybody knows from the Sonic, from the Sonic 06 Let's Play, I am amazing at Sonic games. Anyway, we died. I like how Tails just normally flew into the tornado. <laughs> Fuck! There's a tornado. Maybe I should fly. Maybe I should go one. help Sonic. Since so Sonic's like. You're way too good of a pilot to crash! Literally just walk straight into a tornado. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this game is amazing. <laughs> I, it was already a good idea to have you join me for this. <laughs> rings. More rings. I don't know why I'm making a big deal about the rings! It's a Sonic game! You just get rings in Sonic games. It's just, it's just what you do. It's like, oh look, I got a coin in Mario. Well, Luigi would be happy about that. <laughs> Having an extra coin. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? I love it because I'm an ocean. No, you're Toadette. That's probably not out yet. <laughs> we <laughs> Tails, how are you doing? <laughs> Just fine, Sonic. I'm definitely not going to go. I definitely don't need to uh, go to the bathroom and throw up in the toilet. Everything's fine. But we don't get get to the bathrooms until like stage three. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh man. I'm having so 
I have so much nostalgia for this game, and I've played it so many damn times. I I think this is one of like like I mentioned that like Super Mario 64 is one of those like comfort games that I can just play any time. This is right up there with it. I play this game like once a year. <laughs> yes. Hi, Tails. <laughs> This is like one of the first times I've beaten this level and Tails isn't just right in front of the camera. <laughs> hey everybody! It's me, Tails! Sonic. Yeah, not bad. I want to high-five, but I'm getting electric shock. Sonic. Also, this will not be an all-emblem run. I'm not insane, and I don't want this being as long as a Breath of the Wild the run. I know it probably doesn't take that long when you know where they all are. I don't. Also, if you, also, you know all those times where, where when we were playing Sonic 06 and had no idea where to go? Go to Station Square. You may find something. Yeah, red hemp balls. <laughs> Wouldn't that help to have in later games? Uh, gotta love that good old... Man, this is a pro this is a frequent problem in the series. It would be nice if we had a solution to this. The problem. first that game. In the first game. Like, why does that happen in so many games so often? So, you will not believe how many how many issues you had with Sonic 06 that this game will have will completely like like oh that would have been helpful. I almost died! <laughs> sure did! Hey buddy, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> nah! Oh. I have no idea why they let you do that, but okay. That It's a statue. <laughs> uh. That... Now well, something a resembling issues. explaining it. Press and hold the action button to store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you race toward rings at light speed. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. Oh, so something that's oh, sort of fixed and not that. fixed in later games. In this game, you have to charge it up to do the light speed dash. That way, you're not just light speeding dash for no reason most of the time. And I use the back door! It goes in for the sewer. Why'd you even have that door? Screw, <laughs> Screw you, man. I'm, ha I'm taking your twin. Oh, also an emblem. <laughs> I want the twin. Thank you. Let's go. Need a taxi. Close enough. Wait, come back! I need you to ride! Wait! Wait! <laughs> Those travels the whole distance trying to get it. <laughs> when you try, when you, when you chase down the taxi trying to get a ride and you end up running the whole way to your destination. <laughs> You see, what we don't know is that is that for the casino level, Sonic is too young to go into the casino, so he's using this as a disguise. Now I will know. Then again, the casino needs someone to hit the door, the button on the top to open the front door, so, you know. Also, I forgot to get something. I'll be right back, gold man. Be right back. Need something. Need an, need an additional power-up. I'll just be here. Optional power up. Unless I despawn. Ready? I'm surprised I got that on my first try. Most of the time I bonk on the side of the door. <laughs> you know, I think it I, I do think it's kinda of funny that with the uh, with the light this speed. This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. For the light speed dash. Um uh, they were basically what they, what they basically were saying was, as long as the developers have pre have predefined that you can light speed dash to this location, you can go just about anywhere. <laughs> 
I'm like, as long as we give you, as long as we explicitly let you go to this location, you can go to any location. Actually, you can do it to any Trail of Rings in this game. Anyway, we're 27 minutes in, so yeah. But in theory, if they made a Trail of Rings, they should, in theory, be like, we put this Trail of Rings with the knowledge that you could light speed dash through them. Okay, now I want, now I want, uh, an edit of Lion Sora power sliding in a circle with the sound effects. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Take care.